Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to share this this new video with you, and uh, this one is is pretty just off the top of my head, but I I want to I think it's very important that I reach uh, as many people as I can with this uh, message right now, and um, I w I was just struck by God's word as I was reading through the book of Jeremiah. I'm I'm in the beginning of Jeremiah, and I'm just working through the words of the prophets and the the uh, call of God to the 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 nation of Israel and and the tribe of Judah and the city of Jerusalem the call of God to to just please please stop doing evil stop doing these things repent and come back to me and it's just like over and over and over again he's calling to them and these prophets like Jeremiah, like Isaiah, uh, and even people like Elijah before them and Ezekiel after them, uh, these people that God calls to deliver these messages, oftentimes they're hunted and persecuted. Uh, some of the prophets that we don't have their writings recorded in the scriptures, they're, they're killed uh, for delivering these messages that are that are uh, perverse in the eyes of, of the nations that have done evil in the sight of God. And I'm just struck by the, the call of God and the sovereignty of God over his land of Israel. And um, I know that the God that we serve today is the same. He's the same God. And, and everything that is happening in the world today is is going according to according to the, the role of history. And, and we're just in one little time and, and place here where we see a small fragment of world history playing out and the prophetic timeline playing out. Uh, and so really, there's only two ways to view these things that are happening, that uh, that to view just not, not necessarily world events right now, but just to view reality in general. There's kind of two ways to view it. And one way to view it is that uh, everything just happened by accident and everything that that happens occurs as a coincidence and uh, it's all a part of the evolutionary timeline and the uh, the chaotic universe that we just happened to stumble uh, forth in and ha have our life occur in and so everything has to be put into the framework of, of random chance and, and chaos and the other the other uh, view is it still holds within it an element of chaos, that chaos can come into order. And, and this is the, the, the idea that there is, uh, there is a story that is happening on the human stage, that there is meaning, and that there is a creator and a God who has, has ordered all things. Um, and where the chaos and the disorder comes is through is through rebellion against him. And uh, so so those those are the kind of two philosophical ways to view, uh, bro more broadly speaking, uh, the world pattern, the world, what's taking place. And so going back to the, the prophet Jeremiah, he's speaking to Judah by the word of the Lord. And, uh, and Judah is, is about to be judged by, by uh, Babylon. They're about to be besieged and and overtaken and Jerusalem is going to fall to the hand of the Babylonians the the uh the armies from the north and God is is revealing this to Jeremiah early on in his prophetic ministry before this happens and he shows that this is an inevitability that this is not just recompense for the sins of the the nation at that specific time although they were still doing evil in the eyes of the Lord uh, God said that they were, they were, were we know this, it's a, a pattern all throughout the, the scriptures, is that these, these people are turning to other gods and other idols. And they're bowing down, you know, they're going to the high places, they're, they're worshiping other gods, they're performing sexual immorality, they're doing child sacrifice, they're just doing all these evil things, right? And it's, and it's grieving God so much, but God is always, even in Jeremiah, it says that God's just like, I know you've done evil, 
just come back to me, return to me, and I will not judge you. Just repent, and, and I will relent from these, these judgments that are going to come upon you. But we know the tragedy of Israel is that they did not repent. They continued in their evil, and uh, God, God delivered them over to the Babylonians, and, and, and then the, the hundreds of years of exile, and uh, what, whatever happened after that, you know, the, you have the Persians and the Greeks and the, and the Romans uh, six, uh, subsequently judging and, uh, and oppressing Israel. And uh, as they were in exile, you know, there, so, sometimes there were godly people who were wondering why this was happening. And it, and it was, it was a, you, you could say, a cosmic repayment. Uh, for their sins for God from God and the the thing that I want people to grasp in this video and the reason why I'm doing this video in the first place is not to say that America is Israel it's not it's not to say that we have the same relationship with God as Israel does we don't it's not to say that everything is going to happen in accordance with the same biblical plan as Israel because I don't know that. But I do know that, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And although the covenant has changed for his people, the, the nature of God and the, um, the holiness of God will not change. And when we make a promise to God as a country when we're born, when we're born as a country, we're a very real nation in the sight of God. America is a real... God knows about America. He knows about the United States. He he sees what's happening on the world stage. He sees that we export um, sin and iniquity to all these other nations. He sees that we are the spearhead of the entire world culture. And, and he sees that we promised him that we would be one nation under God. And we're just not. We're not one nation under God. Uh, we were notice noticing yesterday in church, uh, the quarter, uh, in, the, in the last few years, the quarter the face of the president Washington changed and it, and it looks away from in God we trust. And so there's, there's just on so many different fronts an assault against God and, and all these symbols of rebellion. Um, and, and this, this desire to turn away from God, go our own way, reject God, rebel against any authority, rebel against our parents, rebel against the police, rebel against the government, rebel against anything and everything. And, and those complaints eventually bubble up and they reach their way to God's ears and, and God sees that and uh, we serve the same God and, and uh, I, I just don't think that we have a, a firm enough understanding of God's loving nature but also that in his righteousness he is going to judge people for their iniquity and if we really understood that we would we would be having a similar call to to people just to just to like wake up and come to their senses and stop this senseless evil stop stop the murder of the unborn children stop the stop the castrating of of young children and and the uh the emasculating of 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 men and and the uh the uh cross dressing and the, the homosexuality and and the, the the worship of our of our genitals and our our sexuality and and stop all this madness before it's too late and uh and so it's just the the call of god is very real and i just wanted to read this um really quick as i wrap up this video and just think about these words this is just a random let me find it here pull it up this is just a random section of uh jeremiah it says the lord said to me in the days of king josiah have you seen what she did that faithless one israel how she went up on every high hill and, and under every green tree and there played the whore and i thought after she has done all this she will return to me but she did not return and her treacherous sister judah saw it she saw that for all the adulteries of that faithful one israel i had sent her away with a decree of divorce yet her treacherous sister judah did not fear but she too went and played the whore, because she took her whoredom lightly. She polluted that land, committing adultery with stone and tree. Yet for all this, her treacherous sister Judah did not return to me with her whole heart, but in pretense declares the Lord. 
And the Lord said to me, Faithless Israel has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. And so, just a random passage in the beginning of Jeremiah, you know, and, and of course in, in these prophecies, you see the traces of like the salvation that God's going to bring about despite uh, despite the iniquity of the nations. God's going to bring about salvation, not just for Israel, but for all nations through through the Messiah who's going to come into the world. Um, yet still to ignore, to ignore that um, when you pull God out, when you make God a promise that we will be one nation under God, and then you just basically flip him the middle finger, like you are going to be held accountable for your actions, people, everybody, whether you're an atheist, a progressive, um, a Satanist, you know, a pro-abortionist, like you, God sees what you believe, God sees your heart, and if you don't turn away from those things, you are going to be held accountable for them. Uh, and But God is always calling out, just return to me, come back to me. And if you don't, unfortunately, uh, you will die, you will perish. And this is a, this is something that people just look at me and they, and they just see a caricature in me. I know it. Um, I can sense it in my spirit. My intuition is pretty good that people who I know and love, they just say, you're just religious. You're just too religious. You're just too religious. I'm not that religious. I just know God. And I, I unfortunately know him better than some people. And uh, if you think you know God and you're supporting demonic doctrines and, and supporting evil and wickedness, you just don't know him. You don't know him at all. And uh, and if you think you know God, yet you don't even believe in Jesus, you don't believe in the God of the scripture, uh, Jesus says, if you reject me, you reject the one who sent me. If you accept me, you accept the one who sent me. Um, and he's the only way to the Father. So if you if you don't know Jesus, you don't know God. And uh, you don't know God through religion. You just, you know God through through his son Jesus. And, th and that's really the only way. And so God is still calling people to repent and to, uh, so that he may relent. So uh, this is where I'm going to cut it off. God bless you.